Hello everybody, I'm Daniel from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Kaiser Redux playthrough as the Legion of Two Sicilies with Julius Evola in charge right now. Uh, we do have some national spirits, which I do hope we will get rid of this episode, like fight for tradition. I'm hoping, once we've got a real king, it says order shall be restored, so I'm hoping the fight for tradition will go bye-bye, because it is, it's, it's not great. It's, it's not great at all. Uh, stand off in America. We've got Civil War coming. Uh, Blood Monday, we'll have to wait to be able to deal with that. Uh, the land issue, we're going to have to wait to deal with that as well. Profits from shipyards, we can definitely get rid of this episode. Because that just requires me to do two National Spirits. I think you keep it if you expand them. I don't really want to do that. Might head for that steel as well. There's the, those military factories as well. It could be useful. Also working down the defensive stance because for the Abruzzo line. Abruzzo. 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 Yeah, I kind of do want to build a fort, a fort line. Oh, Republic declared in Serbia. Okay. We have confiscated the, the, the generate's wealth. Milan is now in charge of Serbia. We got, oh, we've got a couple of decisions. Um, let's hop back over here. Knights of the Grail. 30 days, 29 days, 29. Oh, punishment for thievery. Two fingers, oh my gosh. Uh, while organised bandits still exist in these difficult economic times, so too does the simple thief, whom thinking of little more than their glutinous desires disobeys our new order. In the process, debases both himself and the rest of society. What shall... Be the new penalty for a crime that cannot be af uh, afforded when we battle the forces of chaos and nihilism themselves. Two fingers, one hand, or their life. Oh, uh, stuff it, we'll go for their life. We're, we're not going to take any chances. We're just going to stop thievery by killing everyone that does thievery. Fantastic. Right, let's go ahead and do limited conscription. Because I do fight quite fancy, like, maybe training up some more guys. I know we don't have the artillery for it. Let's get our four divisions out. No, come on, play nice now, game. Yeah, we'll just spawn you up here. You can hop on the front. That's not... You can hop on there. I'm saying that I do actually want to get down to the Vatican is vulnerable as well. Papal states demanded. Yes, I want to demand it all. There we go. Civil War time. Right, what do we want to do now? Oh, we'll do it into war artillery. We could do it in our research slot actually as well. Anqing's capitulated, the left Kuomintang took six states, and the Sanqing Tiango took two. Where do we get other research slots, actually? It's a good question. Messi's art reforms. Hmm. Not bad. Art reduction costs down. Where the hell are the other research slots? Ah! There's one there. Uh, so we must get somewhere, surely. Blood and Spirit. King Reigns, of course. King Reigns. Um. Oh, I keep forgetting that this is a thing. Okay, there's none in the tree. What? Wait. Right, that, that is, that is not right. Research slot. No. Oh, my days. There it is. <laughs> we get a research slot down there. And we also get one here. Ah, that's fine. That's cool. Okay, we're good. Okay, nice to the grail initiates. Right, let me just destroy liberalism. Uh, initiated by a blood pact with the Legion Commander, the Knights of the Grail are now our eternal security elite, tasked with special operation missions, investigations, upholding the values of tradition at all costs. Some are suggesting that we not only allow Legion militants in whom are supported by Legion commanders, but also allow our regional allies to join. 
While others want our requirements to be stronger in the future, and for someone to both a veteran and vouch for someone of noble blood to become a Grail Knight, claiming this will earn us their undying loyalty. What shall we do? Keep it as it is. A little more loyalists in. I'll make requirements stricter from now on. I'm going to allow more loyalists in because got damage to garrisons minus 25%. That's going to be good because see when we start taking over everyone. Do we actually get claims? Because we may have a... Okay, we do gain claims on land. On some of it anyways, but we're still going to have resistance to deal with. That's fine. Right. The question is though, who do you take down first out of the Third International and the Reich's Pact? Because you could take down the Reich's Pact. Well, you could take down the Austrians first, rather. That's who we'd probably strike first. Take down the Austrians, then strike the Germans, and then strike the French Commune. Then strike the Entente. But getting to the Entente's going to be the pain in the arse bit. We'll see. We have a lot to plan. And still, there's a long way to go anyways, because we, we have to take over Italy first. Oh, which will mean we'll go to war with the Third International. So the Third International will be our first target. Then the Germans, I guess. Ah, uh, it's not great. Oh well, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. If Russia can hold on fighting the Germans, then we may stand a chance of actually... Be, well, just defeating them, rather simply. Um, oh, um, Germany's Asia lost. Hmm. Well done to them. Well done. Up, oh, AOG declare war on the Empire of Great Chang. Well, good for you. That just seems stupid. Yeah, that, that seems very stupid. Oh, Puya has got a helmet on. Oh, yes, and I noticed before. Even yeah, Carl's got a hat now. Another hat. Oh my gosh, look at all these hats. Another hat. Everybody wants hats now. Even Michael Collins has a hat. Look at this. Hats everywhere. Even Huey's got a hat. So is Haywood. Oh, Parliament raised. In a massively symbolic gesture, a allegiance, uh, allegiance ceremony was held today in foreign Parliament in which Evola gave a speech complimenting the Legion for their loyalty and that this was the first step of many for a material world to a spiritual one. The Legion uh, recited the prayer inspired largely by Mithrak. Mystery ritual while Evola burned the constitution. They then orderly exit the building and burn it down, but not before supposedly drawing symbols inside for good luck. While foreign critics and the government in exile have uh, decried this as madness, it has been a massive blow to the morale of local liberals. Mwahahaha. Then that pops are going to take over. Just need to get rid of all these conservatives. It's almost time to bring the king back. How strong actually are you? 19 to 28, yeah, but it's not them we have to worry about, though. It's the third, inter it's the rest of the third national. Oh, it, the Spanish Civil War time. Another hat. We could always join up. No, I can't even join up with the town because flipping Portugal's got to join them. Kingdom of Spain, Swiss, Colonia, France, Portuguese Empire. Wait, sorry, Austria. Oh my gosh. Nicely Grail slaughtering liberals. Oh. Um, the Knights of the Grail are tasked with investigating and capturing prominent liberals who have gone underground as ordered by Ebola and have been told to end their treachery. While initially this was thought to mean arresting them, most of the Knights are taking the opportunity to kill them on site alongside whoever may be hiding them and confiscating their property. The most frequent of these victims are former labour union leaders and activists. This is not against their rules, and indeed according to the Legion Command, it's an excellent chance for Tussisley to experience violent redemption, but nonetheless, some are saying that Avola should at least require political opponents to be brought in before being tried and executed in a more lawful fashion. Pfft. Tis only flesh wounds! <laughs> just, just slaughter them down. Oh, the Romanian legionary state. Would you like to be allies? 
Sardom of Bulgaria is about to get destroyed. Oh, Carl is fighting himself still. Fantastic. Kumul Kanit has capitulated. How are things going in the Civil War over here? Oh, uh, New, New England um, didn't get seized. Okay. Um, well, the Federalists look like they're going to die already. Well done, MacArthur. Well done. You have you have done yourself proud there. And there's war in South America now as well. 20 days until we get the king. I'm presuming it's Victor Emmanuel III. I can't think of any other Italian kings it could be. Oh, Integralist Incorporation. The Legion's gambit paying off a majority of the uh, Integralists have viewed us as the best means of restoring Italian monarchism to its full potential. Faction led by Achilles Darius and Filippo and Fuso pledge loyalty to the Legion values and acknowledge that parliamentary tactics in attempting to instate national Catholicism under the Bourbon King was a desperate gambit to save Italy from socialism. But the path laid out by Avola is now the correct one. However, more religiously fervent and more uh, morally disgusting members of the Integralist Coalition, including Bernardo Atolico, Carmen Sinis, and Luigi Rizzo, have refused to pledge loyalty and simply stated that they would continue to oppose demonic demo demagogy. Oh, I don't know what that is. Together, they have chosen to continue the. Can we see uh, Nia as a separate organization that continues to ignore our society's spiritual revolt? While other militants want to attack them now, some more politically minded supporters, including our newest members, would prefer to wait and give them a chance to see reason. Hmm. We'll give them time to change their minds. I'm not going to strike them down. They were old allies, so. Hmm. We've almost got our king. Do this, and then two more focuses, and we'll have to hopefully have the Pope under control. 15 days. Oh, it won't actually take too long. We'll grab them, then we will definitely swing across into the shipyard matter. Nationalize the shipyards, get profits from the shipyards gone. Oh no. Switzerland. Oh, enemy on all sides. Oh. Sad time for you. That's a shame. Oh well. Let's see what happens here. See what happens. Wow, oh, I can't believe they got abandoned. Unbelievable. It's alright, that's only an occupied state for the commune, so jokes on them. The Pope's got more divisions now. Military aid from us. Ha 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 ha. Military aid for them. Yeah, let's... Yeah, we might do that. We might accept it, we might not. Ah, the king reigns. Ah! After spreading pro-House of Savoy propaganda and sending out diplomats to secure his arrival, King Emmanuel III has arrived in Naples via ship, being greeted by Evola himself, whom lavish praise in the king for his support of his cause. While the king does not seem enthusiastic, but enthusiastic about Evola's more revolutionary views, he nonetheless lavished praise on him for his loyalty to the aristocracy and his respectfulness towards his majesty. Nothing um, that he and the legion's undying loyalty will be repaid in full and the socialists will be pushed back into the French commune. Long live Emmanuel III. The Kingdom of Sicily will be our new name and we will be fight losing the national spirit fight for tradition. Tada! Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna have to change the flag already for the episode. Brilliant. Anyways, Victor Emmanuel III is here. Let's go ahead and do this. Catholic resistance will be strengthened. Prominent Catholic resistance. It appears Catholic and conservative resistance to our rule has grown. Okay. Uh, that's 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 fine. Finish the papacy. Integralist resistance. Okay, uh, the camp has gone from merely being a nuisance to be uh, to being a nuisance to being to the in the words of Evola, and lingering moderate tumor. Since our attempts to strike the Catholic Church has seen a growth as it has built itself as the defender of Catholicism, and even mainstream conservative Catholics such as Mario Scalba have reportedly joined them. The king has reassured the people he is merely opposing the presently pseudo-Christian Vatican for weakening the state, while Evola has privately done the opposite with the Legion and declared the Holy War against darkness as it's truly beginning. With the 
in the air, attacking Legion guards and stealing supplies and launching propaganda campaigns against us. We must stop them. We could punish their families in an effort to flush them out, or simply interrogate priests who are undoubtedly hiding them. Whom should we focus on? Go straight for the families. That will hopefully find get them get them sorted. Can we um? Can we start recovering from? Oh, we can't do that yet. Um. Okay, we got major Catholic resistance, which isn't even showing up. Okay. Platonic Church. Warrior Priest does sound fun, but probably not going to go for it. We're only losing 10 stability, I guess, which hopefully we can make up elsewhere. Definitely do want to get. The oh, what? Minus. <laughs> Minus 50% research bonus for radar technology and electronics. Well, that's crap. <laughs> uh, maybe try and get Sardinia, actually, this episode as well. Oh, there's where we start dealing with... Uh, perfect. Rude National Spirit Austerity Measures. Uh, right, well, we're just going to focus mainly on there, then. Good. I think we should maybe research anti tank. Definitely want to research recon companies. Look at the industrial company as well. Rashidi Arabia joined the Cairo Pact. Uh, war is coming to the Ottomans. War is coming for you. You will not stand a chance. Well, at least they have the Ottoman Gendarmerie, which will help them out, I guess. Um, probably still end up losing. So at least we can still get these two, so we get some steel. Won't be able to grab this though, we can get those military factories. Left Kuomintang is going after uh, Sang Ching Tiango. Catholic resistance will weaken. Oh. Legionary Italy. We might actually be able to naval invade them. 26 or 36. We do have a bigger navy. They have similar division numbers, though. Uh, military aid for the Papal State. Uh, as international tensions grow and the possibility of a second Velkrig arises, the Papal State has begun to see the need to rebuild its army in order to defend the Holy See uh, from desecration by the vials in the cliffs just across our border. And I've reached out to us um, and to aid them in modernizing their forces. How shall we respond? Assist them as much as possible. We can we can spare them some help. Or no, we need to protect ourselves. Um, why do I lose stability for helping them? Well, stuff you. You're getting annexed anyways. <laughs> Expand the Palatine Guard. East Turkestan has capitulated. Three infantry divisions. Right, um, let's go ahead and the Vatican is vulnerable. The Austrians hate that, the French hate it, Italy hates it. Sicily resists. Oh gosh. Right, the Sicilian Mafia has been uh, acting in conjunction with the local rebels to oppose our rule over the region. With the Mafia being motivated by our attempts to confiscate their ill-gotten gains and the rebels motivated largely by either demands for democracy or for us to cease our attacks on Catholicism. When only a small detachment of legionnaires or a real night enter the region they are ambushed so we must act in absolution we could either put Sicily under siege and use our navy to block them from supplies until the rebel leaders turn themselves in or the population turns on them or we could land a garrison on the island to fight their way to the capital and eliminate all listed enemies followed by hunting down and rural mob bosses let's go in let's just take it I'm not messing around here we're just taking this we need some stability that's what we're going for. We need the stability sorted now. Question of the churches. <laughs> Burn them down. Oof. With many priests whom are refusing to renounce 
file authority in favour of the king fleeing the area or disappearing, the question of what to do with their churches remains. Any churches deemed abandoned are now under the control of King Emmanuel III due to the outrage of the papacy. Baron Avola would like to repurpose them as legion posts where ceremonies can be held, but other proposals are to hand into the nobility as a reward for their loyalty or allow the serfs to take them over. However, some legionnaires have rejected each of these proposals and have stated that they should be stripped clean of their riches by the state, then burned to the ground to help end papal influence in the two Sicilies. An alternative Evola himself does not seem opposed to. While the king is known to be anti-clerical and to have hatred of the Pope's attempts to control him, most are unsure he would go so far. I'm going to go for the nobility because it gives us plus four stability. The nobility can use them for whatever bloody purpose they wish. Right, it's going to be good to start dealing with that. Ah, the Battle of Palermo! The Battle of Palermo is bloody, but finally we have managed to break the rebellion in the city and now pushing our way into rural hideouts, interrogating any villagers suspected of working with them. With monsters fleeing the area and rebels being destroyed in the region, oh, destroyed, the region is ours, albeit it's at a high cost. Nonetheless, their loss has helped to demoralise resistance to our regime. Perhaps we should set more examples. Sicily is now a legion outpost. Uh, Sicily is now our serifs. Uh, just purge all who may be treacherous. Um. Yep, just kill them all. <laughs> the purge. Ah. Uh. Wow, we have we've killed a lot of Italians in the, in the process of gaining stability. Again, it has weakened Catholic resistance, but it's going to go up again. Sovereign beyond states. Would you will declare attack and wonders in the for some time? Okay, the Vatican is vulnerable. Let's strike consumerism. Core V system. We get some war support as well. Oh, apparently there is supposed to be a national spirit in there. Smash consumerism. Christian resistance damaged. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, there's there is a national spirit there. It just isn't showing up for us. I said, were we short of? We're still. Artillery, PC short. Papancy caves in. Squeezed by enemies on all sides, the Papacy decide it would rather better to evacuate many of their bureaucrats and surrender the region to Victor Emmanuel III, a known long-time enemy of the Church, rather than lose everything in a pointless war. However, they still encourage Catholics to resist the regime on the way out. Nonetheless, it appears both Emmanuel and Evola have triumphed over their old foe. Eh, finally. Ah, glorious. And we get your divisions and navy. Good times are here. Well, we'll keep that as a secondary fleet, and Antonio Toscano can take control of it. The Black Prince. While the Papacy evacuated, the Pope and the bureaucrats to stay weary of the king as attempts to dissolve all of its military and navy so that it would not fall into the hands of Evola were less than successful thanks to the intervention of Junio Valerio Borghese, aka the Black Prince, an aristocrat and ultra rightist. Borges uh, was a pal admiral whom secretly harboured strong Evolian sympathies and founded a small cell of officers who decided that if the papacy evacuated they would stand by Rome and therefore the King of Savoy. Uh, the cell volunteered to stay behind to secure the evacuation and once they had left told the military and navy they were now in the services of two Sicilies. The true warrior and hero the Black Prince shall be made an admiral of repute of his loyalty despite the Catholic Church's hatred of him whom are now doing all they can to convince the populace this treachery was planned in conjunction with the House of Savoy. And he becomes a naval commander, so he can go straight away. And this is his reward, the small fleet. Perfect. Right. So we'll do this. Sardinia's final offer. Sardinia right, rightfully belongs to the House of Savoy, and while Emidio's stance against the socialists is an admiral, it is not his place to dispute Emmanuel's claim. Despite so far see, um, seeming to view us as extreme, he will be given a chance to submit and join the nobility in our greater state. If not, it will have to be done, for Falcon War, uh, done by bloodshed. Oh, well, pff, war taunt, let's go. 
We're not doing that. Oh, bombing of Barry. The Khmer's have attacked our factories and soldiers today after setting off an explosive in a port in the port in Barry. They must be found at once. Shall we assign more Grail Knights to the investigation or make our war with the remaining interests our top priority? I'm going to put more knights in the case. This this needs to be dealt with. Oh gosh, 50. We're going to get 45 stability back from getting those away, so that's good. Are we actually building any ships? No, because our one dockyard is blown up. <laughs> Great, so I don't really want to send the fleet to their deaths right now. Paraguay has capitulated. Oh, poor Paraguay. Argentina is... Probably going to turn that around, I'd like to think. Um, well, we'll see. Who knows? Hungary, I think, sort of going to lose eventually. They're holding on kind of right now. Alright, so that's going to take 38. Very random length of days for some of these. Like 38. Why 38? Legion, legionary elite group of population plus 1.5 that's all I need to see infantry attack plus 5 not bad I really just want to get down here what monthly population minus 40% oh my gosh we're minus 375 Holy balls. That is... That is insane. Do all of them add losses to it? No, it just seems... Gosh, our monthly population is going to be terrible. Hope we can get rid of that. 500,000 for doing that, though. That is amazing. Right, let's get some reasons. Don't like, let's do Sardinia's final offer. It's going to take them 14 days to do that. That's fine. And we shall actually go ahead and take those divisions and exercise them. Ah, merchants beg for an exception. As part of a battle against the encouragement of pointless softness that modern technology promotes, most civilian vehicles are being taken by the Legion. Wherever the, um, Merchantilist class begs to have an exemption made for them. Exception made for them. Nothing they need these vehicles to move wares. Well, they are already being allowed to keep a handful of trucks. Legion inspector says absolutely needed for supply. They argue it would be more efficient for the economy if they let them keep more of their vehicles. Very well. You can keep more of your vehicles. I'll go ahead and change all them to that. Templates. And we'll bin all of these because we are not going to use their templates. And we sure as hell ain't using that. Where the hell are you? Oh, that was the right one. Perfect. I meant to keep them, keep them separate. There we go. Come on, Sardinia, please accept. It'd be in your best interest to accept. Gonna, gonna join us? You gonna, you gonna come and be part of us? Sardinia accepts. Hmm. Okay. Unsurprisingly, given his lack of legitimacy in the Legion, our king's higher prestige, military advantage, and our support, even amongst his own nobles, Amidio has done what he should have weeks ago and accepted our offer. We may now integrate his nobles into our order and enforce Legion law there with Amidio given liberals and socialists three days to flee. Though the question of how to reward Amidio remains, we could grant him Sardinia as a duce, though as we are aware, he would likely be a far more liberal leader than we prefer, so we could simply make it a tutelar title and grant him wealth, or we could give him the prestige of being in charge of a legion garrison, though again, he would likely be too tied to modern uh, forms of warfare. 
No, he can be the. He can be the. He can have a Duchy. He can have it. What's what's going on here? Fate of Sardinia. Brilliant. Oh, restore order. We should do that. Um. Why? Sardinia's mine. Why are your two divisions over here? Kinda seems a little bit stupid, I have to say, but... Both of you get to that port. And I think I shall leave that episode there, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care, cheerio bye, then now.